Okay, guys. Hopefully this is the last time you got a look at these. These are the 769W2s. I think I've got them to the point where we can call it quits. I did put a little dicum through it. I don't think I squirt as much as I usually do because it's really light, but I do like what I see. All right, the intake valve got a back cut. I lapped them both. They're both good as far as concentricity and so forth. And uh, how do we wind up doing? Well, thanks so much for, you know, humiliating me and saying that Brett beat me. I got news for you. Brett does a really nice job. I've seen his work. The only thing that I didn't agree upon is he has a rough, a rough texture on his uh, short side radius. And I have a polished radio, radius. Other than that, the work was pretty similar, to be honest. So, I have no doubt he, uh, he has a good reputation. So, how did we do? Well, usually what we say about the back cut is we're going to gain up to maybe 500 thousandths, right? Right in the mid-range. It, it should gain. All right, let's take a couple looks at this and then see the flows. All right, looks pretty good. I don't see anything to complain about, really. Okay, the exhaust is different because you humiliated me enough that I actually put a polish on the whole port. Not a five-minute ordeal with this port. But I think it liked it. We'll take a look. It is kind of interesting how the Dicom took a pretty serious turn towards the top. A couple guys said take these lumps and bumps out around the plug. I've been thinking about it. And if you take a look at the way the Dicom hits, I'm going to say they're right. All right, you see those spots of Dicom on that lump right there? I think if we mellow that out a little bit more, it might be better. I think we can afford to lose the, the tiny, tiny bit of compression that we've got there. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, polishing never looks, the curves never look quite as perfect as my burr, but um, I spent some time on it. It's pretty close to what we need to need it to be. Okay, the reflection looks a little funny, but let's take a look at how it did. Okay, so this is what you saw last time. This is with the back cut, and the exhaust is going to have the polish on it. So how'd we do? Did it like the back cut? What I think is interesting is, take a look, you know, the, the common misconception is the back cut adds reversion and or low lift flow. It seems that whenever I test it, this is what I get. Without a back cut at the very low lifts, right, 500, always seems to flow a touch more. And then right after it, the back cut takes off. And that's what we got here, right? We got one minus, we got pluses down the entire curve. In fact, we've got a decent pickup. This thing went 322 at 0.625 with the exact same port. Okay, it was, it got a bigger gain than I was expecting. I mean, I wish it went up a little higher at 300. It only went up a couple on 300, but it's still okay. The rest of it, you got a decent pickup in a couple points. And overall, it's a better curve. As far as the swirl, they're hit or miss. Either curve will work. I really don't like how it drops to zero here. I don't like how it drops to, you know, 48 and 59 here but it's just about ready to lose it over the short side at that point this actually held on a little bit longer to the short side which is surprising usually the back cut increases the flow across the short side and it loses it at a, at a less of a lift it didn't happen this time 
So let's take a look. I'll do the pluses and minuses on the airspeeds. As usual, I almost forgot to show you the bore. I definitely sprayed a little bit less dicum than usual. But it's got a nice angle on it. It's got some nice speckles. It's good. Okay. This is the no back cut air speeds. These are the back cut air speeds. They're both at 600 lift. We got a minus plus minus on your pinch, which is fine. And remember, at 600, this is moving more air. This one's moving. 317 so you would expect it to be a little faster as far as the roof both sides went up so it's really using that whole port more efficiently and how we do on the short side uh, we were fast in the middle mm, not perfectly even but not terrible and how are we now we're still we're actually further out as far as being even we dropped the little speed in the middle, but we're also moving more air, so I'm going to take it as a win. Now, we can do the same thing on the exhausts. Okay, this is the textured exhaust. This is the polished exhaust. This exhaust, we didn't go through the numbers yet. I'm so silly. Let's go back. Okay. Textured exhaust, polished exhaust. Did it like it? Minus, minus, plus, small plus. Minus, 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 plus, plus, plus. Minus, plus, plus. It only helped at the very, very limit. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, is the polish even worth the extra work? I feel like I did this on W2s already. I may have already done this exact experiment, and uh, I decided the texture was better. And I um, think I'm still there. Let's take a look at the airspeeds, and maybe they'll they'll give us the uh, as far as as far as the airflow. The couple extra that I get at the top isn't going to make a difference. The the couple that you lose at all these lifts, I think, would make a bigger difference. Okay? So, I am definitely leaning to the textured. Let's compare the airspeeds. Okay. Top is textured. These are polished. So, these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. Right? Plus, minus, minus. Minus, plus, plus. Plus, minus, plus. It's hit or miss. Uh, how about as far as even? These are almost dead even across. That's good. These were taken at 600 left. So at 600, it just has, it, it's pushing like one CFM extra than, than the textured. But the air speeds, they're close, but this is, this is better than it was. Take the next level down. This went down. This went up a lot in the middle more like Brett's. This went down a little bit. And this was fairly good. It took a dump. Went up a little bit in the middle, which I would think would be good. And we are definitely faster in this corner. As far as being even side to side, top is really good. Middle is fairly good, right? 322, 317. 229, 305 is a big difference on the floor. And how do we do up here? Not super even. Not super even. Not super even. It's a tough call. Guys, give me your input on whether you think it should be textured or do you think it should be polished. It's, uh, I bet it took me almost an hour to polish that exhaust the way I, I wanted it. Not really interested in another seven hours to do the other ones. I'll be much happier putting the texture back on one. I'll tell you what. I'll leave it up to you guys. If you think uh, which way you think it needs to go, and and Rob has a say too, because he'll. I know he's going to watch this. If he wants them polished, I'll be glad to polish them for him. All right, guys. I'm totally cooked on a Thursday. 
think these are going to be uh, a pretty darn nasty street ride. He wants to do a, a duster with these with a tunnel ram. 434 cubes. It'll be fun to get traction on that. It'll be a lot of fun. But what the heck. That's what it's all about. Right, guys? All right. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.